the morning. It's 2 3 in the morning. Just want to generalise this and share some thoughts. Uh, I'm in the dark. I'm in the shadows. Um, where do I start? Right. Every, t every time I lay down, precisely as I get into bed, the uh, targeting starts. So, oh, well, my name's Andrew Hopgood. Just for the record, it's the 12th of October 2019. Yeah, with the tone, uh, being targeted with the tone, uh, which has been an ongoing targeting, uh, gang stalking, gaslighting, following me like in a a hive of activity of people netting you and uh, covertly stalking you, and they're synchronised and organised. They're not a uh, devil possessed and led by the devil. They are led by the devil and organised if you know what I mean. So they're an active, covert, professional, if you can call it professional, organisation. Uh, that passed, well that, that didn't, I wouldn't say it passed but it receded into the, into the woodwork and uh, and then there's been just targeting in the home uh, activities of entering in the, the garage moving things um, my dog was poisoned not so long ago and uh, I buried him in the garden and a few days ago uh, there's all I saw this earthworm on the on the um, hallway floor. I thought, ah, oh, earthworm. And then the thought comes to my mind, oh, my dog, where I buried him. I went to look at where I buried my dog, and they dug him up. They didn't they didn't dig him right up, but they they dug him up, and then they let, have to let me know by placing an earthworm through the door. And then, and then there was an earthworm in the garage as well, and it was they were both dry. I thought, oh, that's a bit strange. You know, earthworms. How did that get in there? Then I thought, oh, I know what they're up to. So whether they put that idea in my head to go and look at it to let me know to bring it to my attention. They they knew where I walked the dog, and they knew that he he liked chomping on grass, and that that's where he got poisoned. And his leg legs started to give way when I was uh, taking him for a walk, and then he started to really suffer for a few days in pain. So uh, that's how sick these people are. I mean, is that the best they can do? You know, if it ain't killing your loved ones, it's killing your animals. Why don't Why don't you kill me? You know, why don't you just square me up in a mano or mano? Um, but I expect this uh, psychopaths and narcissists, so they want to um, drag it out for as long as they can. But every time, every time I haven't slept for uh, the last two nights because uh, every time I get into bed, um, this vibration starts and it's like direct up through the floor. The whole house is shaking. I try to film. Uh, put a bowl of water on uh, out to see if it would catch any vibrations but well, it didn't it's too too fine it's like a high frequency vibration like you're sitting on top of a washing machine and uh, not uh, you know, it's just uh, disrupts your sleep and it's as soon as I get in bed so they can track me uh, so they can monitor the living space somehow um, no, I don't know how they do that. I don't think it's through. Um, people suggest remote viewing, but uh, that that would have to um, involve familiar spirits in the house. So uh, 
I know I'm, I'm covered by the Lord and, and so things like that I'm going to have power in, in, in my room because I you know, I pray that my room sanctified and it's a pray, place where I like fellowship with the Lord so I know if it, if, uh, if it was that um, so I think it's uh, some way of energising the environment having some governing uh, brain on the end of it like a computer so it, it feeds back to uh, through the signal it can uh, transmit and receive so it's like radar and so they can record record, it, record things in the living area or x-raying but there's no energy field I can pick up so I, you know I'm really stabbing in the dark but as soon as I get into bed and move they and like when they posted the worms through the door my both I, I was in my dad was in so they actually dug dug the dog up while I was in the house so they know where you are so they can coordinate their movements and and this is sort of like the um, covert organisation where they the same as well as they'd follow you around the street if it's two or three ten or twelve how many people you that's assigned to a person they know where you are because they can uh, pinpoint you on, a, on like a a cell dar, radar so they know where you are at any given time and they can all coordinate where you are and uh, orchestrate their moves so they can walk in front of you remain behind you and they can roughly follow where you're going to head, head off your path or catch up with you and stick around you so that's how they coordinate attacks but how it's done I don't know so every time I get into bed the vibrations start and then that go on all through the night and sometimes I'll, it's, when it's not happening I wake up to to it happening so what this energy is doing to my metabolism and biology I don't know but it's just disrupting my uh, sleep and with the constant tone uh, trying to wear you down you know get you to crack get you to self destruct or just until you become ill uh, but I want to share some kind of like thoughts which are facts I'm going to share some facts I think which I've discovered about all, all this stuff by research the first fact I'd like to share is um, for anyone who doesn't know and questions what you know if this is paranoia or um, you know the, f the delusion to think you're being persecuted well firstly when you are followed it, it, it can create that um, you're always wondering are you, are, it, you know you could you could always wonder you, you know somebody's there it's like somebody throwing a stone from concealment and it hits you so you know you've been hit but you don't know where it's coming from so then you're always on the alert for where's the next stone coming from so that's not paranoia that's just um, that's just considerate reasoning and being uh, vigilant that's not paranoia uh, whether par there's such a thing as paranoia I don't know it's, I've actually looked through um, some old dictionaries and it, the, the words not in the dictionary not paranoia you'll be surprised what words are in there um, from the 1800s but paranoia is not not in the dictionaries I've got I've got a Webster's dictionary um, and other old dictionaries but anyway some facts I want to want to state is um, I don't know the name but I, I look it up as a doctor a few doctors who uh, researched and uh, now it's a medical certainty of uh, uh, magnetic electronic magnetic pulses and how and, and then the hypersensitivity to magnetic and electronic fields and how that affects the human body and there's a, a lecture given it into a medical board in uh, London so these things are plainly documented as fact another fact is in um, embassies uh, military operations I think it, was, it might have been the Russians gave all the uh, people in the American embassy cancer 
because they were radiating the, all the staff. That's another documented fact. So these things are, are factual to those who question that this sort of activity goes on. And all this um, this technology that you've that uh, is popular, like mobile phones and all the um, utilization of it, and the network of it, and the components within that network is uh, not as advanced as what they've got. Um, so I want to share some facts about uh, the human brain. I don't know if people are aware that the human brain is like a quantum computer, the way it processes, but you're not, you don't have conscious action to those uh, quantum computations. You can't consciously uh, hold that in your brain, but your brain does that automatically, and you you are um, consciously uh, just acting on. Uh, bit by bit like a normal computer but uh, your brain actually activates quantumly and they've understood the biology of the human brain and they've mapped it. Another another fact um, is that they know how they, they were testing on people dying on a very uh, like molecular st uh, sort of sensitive scales and they were trying to work out the weight of the soul you know right down to really fine weights and measures and they actually uh, were waiting for people to die uh, unbeware to them they were on a sensitive scale so when when they died they were uh, weighing the discrepancy and discovered that there uh, there is a difference and they so I've had an experience where after my uh, DNA was taken in hospital this is when I started experiencing more sophisticated tracking and if uh, I've seen several documentaries on one was on Alzheimer's and the progressing of mapping thoughts how they can map thoughts and they're working upon um, people who have memory loss recording their memories uh, on, the, on a data bank so when they have a, a dementia episode or they lose they dissociate they can replay the uh, memories back into their brain through electronic transmissions. So you have a signal which the brain will receive at the because they know your frequency and and the, um, what frequency each unique uh, person operates on, and all the they know how the brain works and how it communicates, and they can um, record thoughts and play thoughts back into your brain. That's a fact. Another fact is uh, there's a documentary I saw recently. Uh, I can't remember what it, who, who it was, but it was a celebrity, and they were going into a um, medical laboratory, and the bloke was uh, in absolute glee. He said he could take control over his um, nervous system by uh, putting electrodes on his brain, and then operating his move, um, taking over his movement. So that was demonstrated with uh, um, equipment, so, but that could be done with remote equipment. So that could be done with firing signals into the brain and there'd be involuntary movements. So I recognise this when, with all those car crashes in Costa Coffee and things like that, how they can, um, and coincidentally they're all, uh, there's all esoteric, hidden meaning in those uh, in the advertisement of those logos on these shops, there's 666 on the coffee beans and it's in a star like the um, Masonic um, symbol uh, and the hexagram so uh, they have the technology to override, map the human body Map the focus, map the functioning of the brain communicating with the uh, physical elements of the body, the biology of the body, the movements. They can con uh, map thoughts, and if you think of guided missiles, how they can uh, a pilot can uh, target a weapon and steer it 
with his thoughts so that's possible so all these advancements in um, mapping uh, human behavior hive mind how they know how your brain works and how we all intrigate intrigate into um, like swallows and uh, shells they know they know the base nature of human beings the mob so they can uh, govern and, and get a, a pro people prone uh, to synchronize and be over overridden and controlled I've seen that with my own eyes and I've had it um, done on me which but I was able to break it um, but I imagine many people can't the other night I had an experience where I was getting all these frequencies fired through me trying to catch trying to catch on to me and, they, and, and then I went into a dream state and, and uh, I could tell it was um, kind of like uh, driven it was sort of like streaming code into my brain and it was it was almost like trying to hack hack into me and then it, it whether it was quant like quantum computer uh, changing the frequency ran you know randomly and very fast until they got a, a grip on me because um when i had the uh and i know this sounds all very sci-fi but um if you do the research and dig around and put the pieces together you see that it's quite capable uh, tracking um there's spaces in California where they can uh, energize an area and then have control over it with sound. I don't know about vision. I, I, I don't know how, how it works, but it, it's got a governor on the end of uh, on the end of it. It's not just like a radio and there's no brain on the end of it. It's just playing a recording. If you've got a computer and a brain on the end of the signal that's uh, carrying on the signal it's joined together with that um, slave driver the master um, processor if you like the uh, governor the frontal lobes and that's what the frontal lobes of the brain is doing so they know how the brain works they know how to hack the brain and they know how to control the body and the mind so they can put dreams in you and they can put thoughts into your mind and so there's a, a, a jump, a quantum leap in the technology because before it used to be um, manually operated by uh, a soundboard and somebody speaking into it and firing, the, firing the, their voice through a signal into your brain and, and your brain translates it into noise, into a sound into a voice but you don't know where the voice is coming from and it, and you may think it's your own thoughts or you're schizophrenic or something like that and this has been tested on um, people in mental homes people in uh, YMCA places like that old people have all had this sort of um, treatment and it, that's been recorded so that can be researched so um, it's getting into the um, beast system what's going to be taking part in the tribulation so I'm going to just give some conjecture about that period which in the bible it's called uh, the, uh, uh, it's not mentioned in the bible it's termed the great tribulation but there's several references to that period um, approaching the end of the fullness of times that's when the Lord finally is back in charge and he, he, he rescues Israel appears on the Mount of Olives splits it in two and then brings down his enemies and starts to rule on the earth for a thousand years and, and, and that's towards the fullness of times and then before that you have the tribulation period which is in the Old Testament it's referred to as Jacob's trouble approaching the day of the Lord and the day of the Lord is when the Lord returns and the period in that tribulation up, building up to that 
So it's a time of wrath, it's been referred to, the time of wrath, escape the wrath to come. So we're not there yet, but, but it, it's um, edging closer to the, we're in the end times of prophecy. And we're approaching that precipice of God's going to pour out his wrath and judgment of the Father. Because his son's been rejected, and because God's holy and just, he's going to, his wrath's going to be kindled. And um, there's going to be a tribulation period, a great tribulation, uh, seven years, and it will be a build-up of tribulation. There'll be per episodes of layer upon layer. Seals will be seal is a period of time, so there's many periods of time that will unfold. Uh, if you think of Moses as a type, when he done all the miracles to Pharaoh, if you don't let my people go. You're going to get this curse and then if you harden your heart you're going to get another curse and if you harden your heart further you're going to get a more serious curse and then eventually pharaoh lost his sons or you know all the firstborn sons were killed and that was the final story of breaking but he still hardened after that because he was wicked and he didn't he, did, he didn't believe in god so he just uh fought god at every turn like these wicked people would do so that's what the period we're edging into You've got these people on the earth who are what's called perdition, which is uh, they're just so wicked and reprobate, they, they just hate God like the devil, and they're, they're legion, they're so far into um, wickedness that uh, they're not going to back, back down. And the world's not aware of that, the world's quite green and uh, wet behind the ears, it doesn't because it doesn't see the evil walking around on the street, it doesn't consider that it's there, it just sees a glossy media version of, of what's portrayed as the world we live in, which is completely an illusion, it's an image, it's a cultivated image and um, it certainly is, it doesn't paint a true picture. If you think of celebrities and uh, Hollywood and soap operas and things like that, and then can, uh, and what you see on screen, it's all polished. You don't see human failings. It's all polished, and if it goes wrong, it's, there's another take until it's perfect. You see, so, and then it's portrayed as this glossy image, this celebrity image. But if you were to take a camera around these people's lives, follow them day to day, swearing and losing their temper, and their, you know, being a bit spoiled a few days, and you know whinging and then you follow them around what they get up to at night you it wouldn't be so glossy and if you see behind the scenes of like uh, the Hollywood world you, you you probably think twice about watching the films so you get this glossy image of the world and that's a bit like what I'm talking about and these wicked people are have always existed throughout uh, history and they have children you see and they have families and then it, that is uh, passed on but it's not, it's not something that's going to come into the light and uh, seek the limelight because it's uh, evil. So it has to work behind in the darkness, uh, you know, in the caverns, in the secret places. Wickedness in high places, which is all, all driven by uh, the uh, the devil. And, and these people op openly worship uh, these uh, forces, these demonic forces being deceived and uh, so they're in open rebellion against God and good human humankind the law people's uh, people's rights and uh, they believe that they're the, the rulers of the world and they're not gonna they cover that and they're not going to give it up and they've invested so much blood so much murder so much lies into their escapades they're not uh, you know they're not going to back down now. So uh, this is a, a reality and, and this is what's on the end of technology and they're probably behind, they probably have influence in many areas like the, so they have access to, um, you think of the Nobel Peace Prize and somebody uh, brings out a wonderful idea but then, then that knowledge is spread around and then it goes to good people for good uses and then it it's used for evil so it's a double-edged um, double-forked 
fork to her spoon. <laughs> so uh, all, all, all good intentions end up in the wrong people's hands, and a lot of uh, and a lot of that goes through the military. Military, a lot of um, advancements are invested. So if you've got an idea, you haven't got the money to get it off the ground. Somebody will invest in it, put their arm around you encourage you to oh you're doing a great job and then when you've completed it they've got all the they've got all the knowledge and all the um whatever it is you've invented dynamite for instance or things like that technology you know it go it ends up in the wrong hands and uh so it's a small world and it all ends up behind these people who have their fingers in everything literally because they've infiltrated and they've organised and they've dominated and, and because the world's ignorant, naive and green uh, nobody suspects it, nobody su su suspects they're going to be people that are that evil but people are that evil and that's what pe and that's why this, this evil goes on that's why nothing's done what should be done that's why we're not out, uh, well, the UK aren't out of Brexit yet the British people voted to Brexit and, and and everyone wonders, well, what you know, what's going on? And it's a, a, a desperate. Uh, it really is a desperate uh, f fanfare at the moment of them try digging in through all their political opponents. You see, like Liberal Democrats and uh, Labour. They're all. They're all. They're all uh, Europe's little. Little slaves. And uh, they all get uh, compromised, and they all get feathered, their nests feathered by indirectly from these powers and then they're gonna their loyalty is gonna gonna be with the wrong people. And most people let they've got something on somebody to uh, twist their arm or trip them up and if they haven't those people end up having an accident or they get poisoned or something. Uh, so considering the Great Tribulation period and what people can expect, it's not going to be a very nice uh, period in like uh, time to live because uh, people like myself have experienced what what kind of capabilities these people have got. The public aren't aware, and then, you, then you've got a satellite. If you if you investigate how many satellites are in orbit, you, you you'd be a, you'd be worried, and quite rightly you should be worried. And then you've got all these cell towers and five G. So the infrastructure is is there. The evil conspirators, conspiratorial powers are there, and they've always been there. And they're just waiting for their turn to get get in power, get in dominance, so they can get their one world leader. A bit, you know, Hitler was a type. And there's many types in the in history. Um, Nebuchadnezzar, you know, he's the biggest type. And then throughout all history, you've got these uh, anti-Christ figures, these anti-goodness figures, these anti-lawful figures, anti-Christ. Uh, so they're against it. They're against Christ and Christ's goodwill towards all mankind. You know, peace on earth and goodwill to all mankind. That was uh, that was the. Uh, that's recorded in Luke. You know, the salvation, free gift of salvation. Um, liberty in using your liberty for good and free your freedoms. This all these, all these freedoms we have in our country are Christian based. They're based on the uh, principles of God from the Old Testament, from Deuteronomy, justice, equity, mercy, and uh, fairness. And these people are all opposed to that because they're unjust. They're iniquitous. And they're certainly not fair because they they are they want to rule the world you know it's like that. and that's where uh, that's why they um, instituted Darwinism because it creates the same sort of mindset in the human mass so you get these people following uh, Darwinism which is absolutely flawed in scientifically it elevates one. One, one part of the human race above other because it sets everybody in a competition who's the best, who's the purest, who's the most intelligent, you know, the biggest dog and it's like the the basic 
basic mindset of Darwinism is that it's justified to that nature produces uh, the cream at the top and it'll, and it's just for the cream at the top to do what they like with only one below it, dog eat dog, so it's a survival of the fittest mentality. But what what they don't tell you that's because it's because of the fall of man. That's why the world's unjust because of the uh, the sinful f sins in mankind, which has set that set the stage for that. So it's true in a sense that that is nature that. Uh, the survival of the fittest, but that that's not right. Uh, that's uh, just because of uh, wickedness and uh, and iniquity, the injustice of the world. But it doesn't justify it as right. It's just and say so that's been promoted in education, and then to explain away the creation and to put God out of the picture, they have to come up with uh, theories, Big Bang Theory, so it's a theory, it's not, it's not fact, it's not science. And creation science is um, discarded out of schools, they won't teach both, they won't compare the two to see which one stands, because they know that uh, creation science stands, they know, they know that creation science is true, because these people are antichrist, they worship the devil, so they're not going to have what, what God's revealed in schools anymore, you know. So they're not going to uh, teach children how to learn, they're going to teach children what to learn. Because if teach children could have a comparison between creation science and test it for themselves and reason it through, they'd come to the, the, the right conclusion that creation science is factual, whereas uh, evolution science is unfactual, it doesn't, you can't substantiate it with evidence only lies and bits of evidence that you have to uh, articulate what what the missing link what the missing bits are and that's when you get a diverse opinions of all these experts saying know oh, it's this and that and you know oh we've got the link between the evolution oh no we haven't got the link so it's all complete um, fudge it's a big deception orchestrated and offered by the devil so in, in the Great Tribulation period, you're going to have the beast system and there's going to be the beast and the, the image that has power to speak. So what this is, um, if you know anything about computers, you know silicon computers that have a limit, they know that, that, that it's only going to get so fast and they, are, they can only, if you think if you're on the checkout you can only, you haven't got four pairs of hands, you can only do one after the other, one item, up, scan one thing at a time. Where a quantum computer can scan everything at once, all at once. And it's, um, the uh, processor is made a different way, they're, they're, they're created on a nuclear scale. So the actual processors are not silicon, they are, it's, it's nuclear physics and they're built on a macro scale and these, these processes are made and they are super 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 powerful but we don't have access to those sort of computers but if you research um, quantum computers you'll see if you've got the money there's a few people who've built, had one built um, had a few built so there's a few existing um, I can't remember the names of them but these computers are utilised and they can generate, a, they can process a lot of information and they're getting more and more and more, more and more powerful like silicon chips. So you, you've got these massive computers. So if, so if you think of artificial intelligence and you think of spirit, spirit matter, the soul, and then you think of um, radio waves, transmissions well you link the two so the electronic is carrying the spirit so if you're writing a computer program that's the spirit of the computer the programmer written into the code it's his idea but if you put a living person in that signal and connect that living person to that computer and that computer feeds back to that person 
there's um, it's a different a different uh, model of um, operation. So if you you imagine the um, the devil and his brain, his knowledge, his power, because he's a fallen angel, and you give him a machine where he can operate in and operate through, and then you transmit that signal and then receive it back and you know how the human race works you can start to govern it you can start to be the slave driver you can start to uh, control but if you were to tell people oh that's what it is come and join it no one would touch it with a barge pole because it they'd be too frightened to it so you have to be it has to be done subtly incrementally by deception that's why you keep getting all these phones updating every week, every year. Uh, you know, they could cut all that out and just, you know, give you a real sophisticated phone that lasts for years. You wouldn't need a, a new model. You know, the capabilities there. If you think of cameras, um, if you think of the uh, what, what, what cameras we've got and what cameras the military have got, how many pixels that they can... You know, we get like 24 megapixels, they get like zillion pixels. And um, NASA have got a camera where it can get high resolution images beyond what we can do from from about 20 miles away without getting any grainy image. It's a high definition image because they've got so many processors to uh, controlling the camera. Whereas, you know, we're limited to what we're given. We're given the snippets at the end. We're getting the frayed bits at the end and all the technology is in, in the hands of the wrong, you know, in, in the wrong people. It's not something we have access to. So the thing in nightmares is that there's going to come a time, you know, this is possibly what the mark of the beast is. So they will have to trick the world to come out of this crisis and, and uh, a remedy and then the Antichrist will come and be the uh, saviour because he's instead of Christ he's a counterfeit of Christ so he's going to appear as a saviour now whether he's going to mimic the prophecies in Revelation and have a, somebody betray him he'll be riding on a, a cult you know whether it go down that route or whether he needs to bother, I, I, I don't know, but he's going to come in the stead of Christ and he's going to fool the, some of the Jewish people and he's going to fool all the rest of the Gentile world and so he's going to be uh, housed by a fallen angel which is Satan, so he's going to be possessed He's going to this man's going to be so reprobate that he's going to give himself over He's going to be so egotistical, so lost him for power, that Satan would just overtake him and take control of this this person, and this person will just lose his own identity because Satan will overtake him, and he will think that he is. They'll be one of the same. They'll be synchronized, but it won't be him driving. It'll be the the deem, the, the spirit of Satan in him. So this spirit. Satan is in this technology and this technology is what's governing through a supercomputer and, and the people who build these computers may not necessarily be aware of that um, but if you research uh, the supercomputers you'll be quite um, quite alarmed if you haven't already researched these things you'll be alarmed that they don't really know how they work and they can predict a supercomputer can predict what you're going to, what you're going to say before you said it so it can it's got so the amount of information you put into it and the, the more you put into it the more it learns and the more it can uh, outthink you out outmaneuver you and it's got a super processing power so it can govern a lot of people all at once it can do a lot of computations all at once so it, potentially it's a slave head that it that the, the human race is going to be joined, linked into. So you're not going to be online in a, a physical sense through the physical apparatus. You're going to be online in a spiritual sense. 
and your logging on will be something to, will be your agreement to accept this mark now whether that marks a microchip or whether it's just your your giving up your free agency to take part and there may be something that changes your DNA to do with this mark so you are in tune to the you allow somebody to come round with with uh, with your security code of your your soul and then they'll take they take that information and they give that to the uh, AI and the AI will then govern potentially the whole human race and deceive them into thinking that they are have free agency but they're on a virtual grid of the human race so it will be able to hear all your thoughts and it will be able to govern in, in individually all at the same time and speak to people and control people the behavior um, it's super duper advanced so it will be able to um, speak to you and you'll be able to speak back to it and it'll be able to speak to all people all at once because it's, that's how powerful these things are and it's beyond our comprehension but these things are uh, possible and they are um, it's been demonstrated so that's where it's building to so in in and this is just all um, speculation on my part just by reason, knowing the capabilities of this knowledge um, so the whole human race will agree to t to become worship this piece, worship the image and this image will be a virtual um, hologram something like that but it will have uh, the power of Satan through technology and everyone will be wired into it brain to brain, life to life so everyone will be connected to everyone else um, through this uh, slave head and that that would be the image of the beast and then there'd be the living beast in the man the antichrist so i believe there'd be two there'd be him in a virtual sense and him in a real sense and the two are the same kind of thing which is an imitation of the holy spirit and then you have uh, the pope's going to be the false prophet he's going to endorse this figure as you know this is the guy this is the he's going to worship the beast and they're going to be overtaken by demonic forces and uh, so it's going to deceive the whole world into accepting this mark and people who panic and get frightened will either be killed or they'll be given the opportunity to have the guillotine because they're, they're going to get to a point where they're going to say well look the world's come to a point where we just got to do this and if you, you don't want to be part of it sorry you, you, we can't have it you know we've made our mind up what's best for the whole human race we've got 80% uh, of human race behind it so you lump, like it or lump it so but if you don't want it you can take the guillotine because we can't have you on our planet kind of thing spoiling it for everybody else so you'll be given the opportunity to be uh, executed but what people don't realise is that people, even people who take the mark, are going to be tortured, they're going to be punished. There's going to be people that they don't want on the mark, and there's going to be people that are going to realise and uh, they're going to have to eliminate them, have to fry them in their boots. Because that's what how that's once you're on this thing, it the thing that's governing you can stop your life. You've given it position, it stop your heart, give your brain explode. It can cook you. It, it can do all sorts of things. It could overtake you and make you do things you don't want to do. So this is what people are so green and stupid. They don't. They're not going to see it coming, and they're going to willingly accept this idea. They're going to be deceived, and the, God's going to pour out a strong delusion that they're going, to, they're going to believe a lie. And this is the lie. And then once they're on that mark, they're stuck on it, and and. And that is an open rebellion against Jesus Christ, and they will go they're damned to hell for taking that choice because they're so ignorant, so stupid, they're going to deserve it. And that's how the world's going to be judged. And the wicked people are just so itching to get get their own way 
late, they're not going to think of the consequences, they're just all out for themselves. They're completely deluded in their own vain ambition. They just want to get their plan up and running. And so they're demonically, you know, overtaken already. And they don't know it, they don't see it, they just are it. And they've got to get the rest of the world on board. This is what all this uh, fighting's about. This is what all this kicking up dirt's about, kicking sand in your face to stop us getting out of um, getting out of uh, the European grip or the Pope's grip, because that's who's really in power. Because he, he believes he's a temple ruler and a spiritual ruler on earth, and people aren't people in the public are just so ignorant of that fact. I was so ignorant of that fact. He, all throughout history he believes that and then depending on the Pope, the person who's the Pope you know whether they're naive and uh, a bit green or whether they're calculated and know full well that they're power hungry and they're um, lifted up in their grandos and uh, grandiosity and they that they think they're God on earth you see they think they're all powerful and it's their right to rule every nation every country and if they don't like it they're going to they have no right to um, question his authority because he, he believes his authority is from God his God which is the devil Lucifer so this is what's all brewing on the table and this is what all this technology is and people don't realize it and perhaps the people who are using it and being uh, utilised to experiment with it and test it and give people permission to you, you do these things um, aren't aware of it either. So there's only a small minority that are, are aware of the inner, the inner um, conspiracy and, the, and they've got to deceive, get puppets to do their bidding, you see, so they have to uh, hand on hand on hand on hand to get to get the mass in it, it to step in line. If you put um, you say like a school and you put a headmaster in there that's uh, uh and starts uh you know starts pretending to be hip or you know down with the kids and he start you know lets them slack around. You know you think of what impression that that headmaster will have on the school. It will affect the whole lot, you see. You put teachers in the classroom that are liberal, you're going to get a load of liberal kids, a liberal behaviour. It's going to nurture that liberalness. And it's just, that's how they govern. They, they write the rules and then they um, cultivate the people through their training and their schooling. And when they get to be put in the live stage of the, their jobs, they're already modelled to affect the whole mob, you see. And, and when you're going to link all that, all that knowledge up to computers, it's going to be very easy to control the human race because they already know it before it knows itself. They know psychology or how the human mind works. They know behaviour. They know appetites. They know what makes people tick. So it's easy to control because they're already doing it and they already control writing the rules so they already control the education system so they're already at work with this knowledge but now the, the technology stepped up to be uh, to a quantum scale to have virtual AI and then to put all that knowledge and all that experience into a computer and that computer will be governed by the devil and that computer have control over people because people just want to get their kites and fly it. Oh, look at my kite, look how famous I am, look what I can do. So everyone's looking for their own life, you see, and they're going to take advantage of those people. Oh, you yeah, know, I can give you that life, come here. And then that, they, they control the stage, they control the, uh, they own the field where the circus tent's put up and they own the circus tent and they lease it out. All, all, all the record industry, all the film industry is all, it's all in somebody's pocket. And if if they don't want you to succeed, you're not going to. But if they want you to, if they can utilize you, you'll be utilized. You know, and so they're only going to allow things up there that's in, in agreement with their own 
philosophies and their own way of thinking. And so all this knowledge is going to be um, controlled with computer. So uh, this is what I've experienced and, and I want to just share something, you know, it is the stuff of nightmares because they can trap your soul. They can, um, if you've got a computer and it's uh, transmitting to your soul, your brain, your whatever that matter, your spiritual matter or substance your spirit's made of and, and that's got a code and they can read that code, they can uh, trap that code in a loop and then they can take, transmit that code into something and that will put your code, your life, your life being force into like a, a like being sucked up a hoover and they could put you in a, a container which will house that sort of um, spiritual substance and uh, trap you in a in a container so when you die you, you are trapped in a bottle kind of thing because they, they've got the knowledge they've got the understanding and they've got the technology to do that sort of thing and that's what it confirms in the Bible beware of those who can uh, take your soul you know that's that's twofold, uh, deceive you and get you bond captive to a lie, that will trap your soul. But also in a physical sense they can uh, utilise this technology to prison you, house you, because people are prison prisoners to the, their lust, prison to their prisoner to their desires. What holds you holds your thoughts. What holds your thoughts holds you. So if you if you wanna um, jump for the carrot, the devil's got you and you, you're jumping for it. If you've got an ambition and they provide the express the way to express your ambition, you, they've got you, you're trapped. You're living your dream. But your dream's vain because it, it's not it's not what uh, God intended for the human race to have all these have all this technology, have all this stuff. And if and if it did it, it, if it all, all the good things in it would be used in a completely different way so it wouldn't be you wouldn't see what how the world's unfolded with all this technology all this um, dominance all this control all this iniquity all this all it, it's all governed by uh, the, the conglomeration of the power and that power is all all governed by the person who rides on top of that and that's the one who seats himself as the king of the world and that's the Pope. That's the Catholic Church, you know, the, that's why it's called the uh, whore that rides the beast, it sits on the top. And it says to itself, oh, you know, nothing's going to ever, no harm's ever going to come to me, it's all peaceful up here, I'm in control. You know, read Revelation 17 and 18. That's the Catholic powers. That's the that's the, the Roman Catholic Church, and all the people under it that uh, make good of it. You know, because of that powers on the table, people prosper all around it. Uh, the mafia, um, all these um, corporate enterprises are all slave to this. Uh, demonic entity that uh, infiltrates people, gets people, to, excuse me, dependent on it, and then it compromises them, and then it starts to serve it, and it prospers from serving it, so it maintains its hold upon that nation, and it's got all nations in its pocket, and that's what it's been working to do to overthrow all nations, to overthrow Christianity, and to kill the Jews. It hates the Jews because it's of Satan, and Satan wants to kill the Jews because it, they're God's people. You get rid of God's people, people won't be thinking about God anymore. I'll get rid of Christians and Jews, they're the only one who believes in the true God. And, and then that's why they create the antithesis of the fake God, uh, Allah, and uh, state religion. You know, it's to conceal and bash the truth in the middle, the Jews and the, the born-again Christians. 
So that's what's a threat and uh, that's what um, people can expect. You've got all this capability um, and utilising their technology like HARP. Uh, you get all these scientists say, oh HARP, no it can't do that. And then you get the scientists who help design it come out and give a give lectures and say exactly what it what it can be used for. It could be used for just putting voices in your head. It could it's so it, it's governed by a computer so it, that computer can shape and control and create patterns, it can focus, it can um, fire a wide beam, it could fire a narrow beam, you know, and what 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 they tell you it can do is a bit that they're just giving you a limitation of what it can do it's quite it's capable of a lot more than what they state it's for and then they can utilize that with other technologies so um, they know that the earth has got certain energy fields like a grid and they can tap into that grid with a, with a, with a brain with a, a powerful um, governing head so they can program that that brain to utilize that grid to do certain tasks you know so it's beyond my comprehension but um, I've studied certain areas and I can see what it what it's capable of and uh, then you've got satellites um, and you've got all this uh, knowledge about the human body and biology and how it works and it's all coming together into this uh, beast system, the, beast, the governing system and then it's all um, predictive programming on the TV and adverts, you see this sort of mindset and it, it the inspiration from it is lived out in uh, creative design and expression in adverts and commercials and films and then people will get used to it and then it become acceptable and people will be up for it and hungry for it they'll, they'll be drooling for it if you, you imagine if you're on this uh, um, beast system and you can start having uh, virtual images walking around in front of you like you could you know like Star Trek virtual tennis and so you can plot a space in your living room and have things appear in your room walking around because they can control your brain and get put those images into your brain as though you're seeing things around your room so it, it, it's complete manipulation of the human brain and the human spirit or the soul so you could um, you're on a virtual generated um, spiritual network which will be have a lot of capabilities like play music you know it'd be like Alexa you know Alexa play me music or Alexa you know let me watch a film but it'd be three-dimensional in, in right in front of you or Alexa let's um, give me some weapons like a uh, matrix and you, you, you see yourself all kitted out in this different image and you're holding virtual guns and then then the computer will fill in the rest so you'll be sh you could virtually shoot someone else shooting back at you with their virtual guns it's, it's that sort of technology and capability but it's all a deception it'll all be manipulating your brain and putting these things into your mind that you you actually will see what 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 it wants you to see like they can do with dreams they can impute dreams into your brain and you can have dreams and images so so what's generating these images and dreams uh, you know can they conjure dreams up by tapping into something that creates these dreams rather than designing the dreams and playing them into you i don't know but this uh, technology will be a reality and i believe that's what the mark of the beast system is the image that can speak so it will be a virtual hologram perhaps that could walk around or appear many places at once and everyone's going to be tapped into it it'd be like one of those virtual little uh, 
computer programs in, that built into your computer and you ask it for help and it come, a little man comes out, a little effetar comes out and um, you ask it questions, well it's just a more sophisticated version of that, it's going to be a, a super brain and that's been portrayed in films as well, In um, I think it was one of the Planet of the Apes film, there was this virtual supercomputer that you go into a library and it, it, a holographic man comes out and he's got he's got all the knowledge of history and everything in his data banks and you could ask him anything and he'll tell you. It's going to be kind of like that kind of image. So we're going to, you're going to see a virtual image of the beast and the beast is going to be the Antichrist. So whatever the Antichrist looks like, this image is going to look like and everyone's going to be wired into it in their brain. And... Uh, and if you're against it, you're going to get the sort of treatment that the people are getting today, they're getting targeted, because they know that we're not going to accept it now, we're not going to accept it then. And Christians know full well what they're up to, you know, it's like we're on this side, they're on the other side of the gulf, and you've got all this ignorance in between. And they know that, they know that creation's true, because they worship the devil, but they just won't accept God. They, you know, and I don't know what they believe. If they think that Lucifer's God and he created everything, well, you know what? That they've been deceived by Lucifer, telling Lucifer's making out that he's God and he's a creator, and or there's two gods, you know, but there's not. There's only one God, and they didn't have a fallout. They weren't like brothers, and they fell out. And Lucifer's the better one of the two, and God's, and God. Jesus is the cruel, you know, the unfair one, you know, he's a liar, so he deceives, and he's deceived all these people, and he's got them drunk on his ideas and intelligence, and that they've been his little slave masters, and they're so far invested into it that they've got to see it free, and then, then they're going to get, then they're going to realise when the church, when the Holy Ghost, the restraint is removed, they're, they're get, then they'll be allowed to move forward because they've buffeted from getting it on the ground, getting it up and running. And they won't get it up and running until God allows them and God's going to move move his hand out of the way. And then it's going to start. And we're at that point now that it's, it's about to start. You know, it could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be 10 years, it could be 30 years, it could be another life lifetime or two, I don't know. But... We just know by the signs it's near, it's nearing. So if you're not a Christian, you need to be um, born again, you need to be saved. Otherwise you're going to possibly you're either die in your sin and go to hell, or you'll be facing that period. And if you take the mark, you will be going to hell, but not only you are going to experience hell in this life, and in the life to come when you realise what you've done, because once you're on it, you won't be able to get off it, because they won't let you. Because you'll know everyone, everyone will be frightened because so many, so many public people, probably people in your own family, are going to refuse, and you, you're going to go, what? No, come on, I want it. It'll be great, and you'll be drunk on it. So you go, oh well, that's your choice, and then you, you're hungry for it. Bite the carrot. You'll, you, you, once you've taken it, then you'll realise, oh, my family died. They, they chopped my mum and dad's head off because they didn't want to be part of it. But I did. And then, um, then the then it would dawn on you. Oh, I can't go back now. You know, so many people have lost their lives and had their blood spilt because they wouldn't join it. And you might think at first, are oh, you party poopers? You know, because that's what uh, children um, have been cultivated to have that kind of attitude towards their parents. Uh, you, you hear of this. Um, children threatening their parents if they take their mobile phone off them they've threatened to uh teenagers have actually threatened to murder their children in bed you know their parents in bed if they dare take off you know cut them off from their uh, drug they're you know that they're hooked on uh, technology and their little what they've been cultivated into accept into their lives and get addicted to all these things are disgusting and people can't see it when it was coming, what it was. 
and and they're not you're not going to convince people to give up their Facebook and their iPhones and their notepads and all that all, all the gadgets. You're being led to the slaughter. You're being you're being carefully led to the slaughter, the slaughterhouse, and that's the great tribulation. You're going to get slaughtered, and if you're not one of them. Because there's going to be people on the inside and then the general public on the outside. So the people on the inside are sick. So they're going to be want to be torturing people and playing with people. You know, they're going to be in a... They'll probably be able to get off the system when they feel like it and go around the world and no one will see them because it, it, all these people will be having hallucinations. So they could go into a house and start knifing people and cutting them up and, and, and the family won't be able to see it. You know, this is people want to stop and take a check of what's going on and, and do some research into history, who the powers are, what these people actually get get up to, what how they've been treated as as children. You know, a lot of these people come from satanic ritual families, and they experience this kind of um, mentality. You know, they're hardened. Um, a lot of these satanic families are pretty, pretty hard, because they, you know, that's how they're they're raised. They're not raised like everyone else. You know, they're raised very hard, you know, very firmly, and uh, they don't cultivate uh, softness and affection. They cultivate hardness and discipline, and you know, obedience to Satan. He's a sl he's a hard master. But then they're rewarded for doing that, you see. They're given rewards, perks, and their perks are sick. Like cutting up people, having sex, sex with whoever they want. Sex parties, you know, getting away with murder, things like that. That's their treats, that's their pocket money. Being part of something that no one else is, and they get off on it. And that, that's so diverse and so uh, carefully orchestrated. So you've got all these families in, in that uh, line who are going to be part of this on this beast system as well of all the other with the general human race and they're going to per, you know they're going to be purging people hunting people and people that they don't like they're going to be just getting rid of you know and they'll be driving people to war battles you know the whole world's going to be at war and, it, and the whole world's going to be um, stirred up to um, get rid of the Jews, you know, to um, surround Israel, to conquer the, conquer the, um, conquer their heritage, take over their temple, appearing to be the Messiah, you know, posing as Messiah, he's, he's gonna, he, they're gonna know he's not the Messiah, because they're, they're on the end of the deception, so they got to deceive the Jews to get into Jerusalem to take it over. And there's only one one ambition they got is that's to kill all the Jews out, get rid of them, and then they can get rid of God, you see, and the knowledge of God. But it ain't going to work because God's um, before and after, so you can't you can't cheat, you can't like hide God. <laughs> you can have a go, but you ain't going to get anywhere. You're just going to hang yourself. You're going to cause a lot of misery and pain and bloodshed. So. Um, that's the stuff of nightmares I wanted to share because I couldn't sleep. So every time I lie lie down, you have to I have to ask myself, well, how do they they know where I'm moving to? There's no electric le electronic magnetic field. I've got no mi microchips in my brain, so there's no uh, electromagnetic. There's a very fine. Uh, that's a lot. That's an AV. That's very AV like low voltage. But that's probably the camera. Yeah, that's the camera. See. So there's no uh, electronic field in my in my room. There's no radio frequency. And and even if there was, if there was like um. 
higher gigahertz frequencies it would pick up a magnetic field or an electronic field it's I'm not getting either and as you can see uh, there's no radio frequencies in my room not even Wi-Fi so uh, this room is clean so how do they know when I'm get, getting in exactly precise time I get into bed and they start um, firing how, do, how, do, how does that do that I don't know um, you know I, I pray and keep my room swept so how are they knowing where I am any given moment well they've mapped my DNA so potentially they can somehow you know probably uh, perhaps lower radio frequencies of, of the old U U UV UHV UHF signal I don't know I don't know all of, I don't know all things but they just know where I am at any given time now is it through um, microphones in in the walls because this, the people who own these houses are part of these people so have they rigged the house before it was built you know the whole estate was probably designed to be a virtual uh, guinea pig pet project as well as making money so they can test on people who, who, who buy the houses or move into the houses, move into the estates. They're all private estates in the name of in the name of a charity, but they're not a charity, they're a business. They just start with a charity status, get a big loan, get paid, uh, invested, and then they've got to pay back the investors. So they're all the same people. And then they start profiting from rents. So it's not a charity, but they, they get charity status so they can get government back in and once they once they got government back in and the government realise there's money in it for them they keep their mouth shut so on they go these projects get rolled out and then when the when the council are out of the picture they're making money and controlling who they put in what 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 address and then they can control uh, the movement of people in and out of um, the houses you don't know what they've built into the walls or how they utilise things in the walls with other technology so they somehow can know where I am any time in my house I know that they can hear um, what you're saying in your house because um, I've had things repeated that I've said, said in private and it's been repeated to me to my face out in the street but covertly you know, word for word, and even uh, movements. You know, even mimicking what movements I've made or expressions I've made, and then mim mimic it in the street. Now that might be demonic. That might be familiar spirits. Um, but I don't know. But uh, somebody's on the listening to those familiar spirits. So there's some some demonic uh, witchcraft going on. Um, I don't know, but like I say, if if I'm if you've got the Holy Spirit with you and you're praying to get these things out of your house and out of your life, they can't have power over you. They only have power over you if you you stop have you 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 turn your 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 eye off 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 from your faith in Christ. So these uh, familiar spirits wouldn't have permanent um, access to your living space and your your temple, they might be able to oppress you, but you, I'm a Christian. I know, I know the difference between you know, I've experienced oppression. I'm not oppressed at the moment, so I just don't. This is beyond my knowledge. This is beyond my understanding. I'm, I'm seeing darkly, wondering how that they uh, know exactly when I get into bed, so they can start this uh, vibration, which feels like it's coming up through the floor but it might be coming through the floor and from down from top and there could be a whole stream running through me and that's relayed back to something I don't know um, but that's what the world's got to expect in the future and uh, so you can be a virtual little you know like one of those little virtual pets you have to keep alive on your thing so they've got like the Sims, 
so they're like looking into people's homes um, and they can do that, the police can do that, or the army can do that, helicopters can do that. So somebody next door with the equipment could be doing that, you know. And I don't know what technology it is, but it's not giving off a signal, unless these are deliberately fixed so they don't work properly. But um, to do it, but they they work when you test them with what you should be doing, and they pick up. They, they, they can't do both, they can't work in one thing and not work in another area, so it can't be that. So it's got to be some other technology I'm, I'm just not aware of. But they can uh, tell where I am in the room and manoeuvre accordingly, and as soon as I get into bed they start up their vibrations, and then I've got this tone. So I, I just don't know, but that's what people have got to expect, kind of a nightmare. Um, and thank God it, uh, I can uh, grasp it so it doesn't affect me so much. And uh, you know, I've outgrown the aggravation and the little little games they play. They don't uh, psychologically affect me anymore. So I've, I've gained the victory over them through the Sovereign Lord and my God. So he's, he's helped me go through it. All the dramas I've experienced, you know, I've, I've learned, I've learned how to deal with it. And that's how I escaped all the uh, gang stalking, because it didn't have, it. once it stops having an effect and you're not, not obsessing on it, where they, they stop doing it because it's pointless and they don't get a thrill out of it. So they try some, they try, they step it up and try, try another approach. And then when that don't work, that's why I'm locked down with this tone now, because that tone happened when the covert netting following me around the street failed. And they realised, oh, well that ain't... They, they tried to give me on the impression that they own me, and they wanted to isolate me, and chase me around the streets, you know, like we're going to hunt you down. And I just wasn't frightened by it, so I called their bluff. And then it stopped, and then I, then the tone starts immediately, you know, literally the next day. So you can, oh, when you're on the end of it, you can see where, it, you, you can see the continuity of, of what their approach is, uh, you know, the manoeuvring. So I've got to this point where all, the, all they can do is uh, try and shatter me, shatter my piece, wind me up and aggravate me to react with the odd burst through the wall. And I still get cooked, but I, I don't always catch it on the because uh, it's a pulse, so they can pulse you and then heat up you, heat you up from the inside and cook you. So we get you to a certain point where you're agitated and your your body can't cope at that temperature. It's like if you jump in a freezing cold, icy pond, your brain can't operate like it normally does and it's the same at the other extreme and they take you to that extreme of the limit of what your body can take before you have serious uh, health consequences so they keep, can keep you really warm so you're agitated then they can start doing little dirty tricks moving things killing your dog or, or you know doing something to your family and that's to get you out to react to spark a reaction but when that doesn't work, well, what can they do? They, they, they've got to go the next step and assassinate you or just wait till you self-destruct or your, your, your health, you know, your, your health breaks down. Um, I had a real serious infection and thank the Lord and for people's prayers, it's gone. Uh, but I, I, was, I was in need of a hospital, hospital treatment. I was a, I didn't know, you know, it was septic, you know, I was getting all, my blood was coming out of my pores. And then that cleared up overnight, thank God. But the temperature's still there, I've still got a temperature, but I don't know if that's uh, through um, a virus or if that is through being cooked, because I, I, I've had both, I've, you know, I've been cooked in my room. But, I, but that, that hasn't happened for a while. And if it does happen, it happens so quickly I don't notice it and I can't catch it on, a, on any of the meters I've got. So yeah, I wanted to, on a close now, um, and end this.
but I just wanted to uh, warn people about the Great Tribulation and kind of trying to put the pieces together of what people can expect. It's not going to be a nice period. And if, if, you're, a, if you're a Christian watching this and you think you're going to go through that period, I, 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 I don't, I can't see it because that's a period of wrath. Even at the first three and a half years isn't going to be nice. And um, the Holy Spirit is the restrainer and the Antichrist ain't going to appear till the restrainer's removed. So if the restrainer's removed and, and you, you've got the indwelling Holy Spirit, well, you're not going to be around to see the Antichrist. So it's a question, when does the Antichrist appear? Is it in the middle of the tribulation or at the beginning? But the, the whole period is a period of wrath. It's, it's God's judgment of seven years. It may not start in the first minute, but that period starts at the first point of the seventh of the prophecy. And if you look at Revelation, you know, the church, after it's speaking to the Lord, speaking to the church, then that, that period starts and the church is not there. So um, I, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm a pre-tribulation on the pre-tribulation rapture and I think Thessalonians supports that and I think the you, well, you have to consider that and I think you have to ponder that and reason that through and uh, that's the only conclusion you can come to I can't, and when you when you come to the conclusion and it's in the middle you've got to uh, negate one of those one of those areas the, the restrainer uh, revelation in the way it's unfold in the type and the shadow that the church is not in not in the picture at that point it goes up to heaven because John the Revelator is taken up to heaven he's a representative of the body of, of the church so I don't see how we, it can be mid-trip it or you know because we're not looking for the Antichrist we're looking up for Christ so we're not going to see the Antichrist we're looking up for Jesus, the, the, the blessed promise, you know, so I am a pre-tribulation rap, uh, rapture believer, but I keep an open mind. Um, but the world is going to go into that period and that period is a period of wrath and judgment and if you've had the opportunity to hear the gospel and you go into that period, you're going to be one of the people who's going to get poured a strong delusion. So if you found this video, you got no excuse now, you can't go into the tribulation period because you need to repent and accept Jesus and if you reject Jesus and go into the tribulation period are you going to get another chance? Because you'll more than likely take the guillotine and then you're judged for not accepting Jesus now so it's a period of judgement so if you don't accept him now is God going to give you a second chance in, the, in his judgement? Well, no, you've been judged because you've gone into that period. So it's only people who are, who've not had an opportunity in that period get saved, get the guillotine, and it's only those Israelites who who haven't heard the gospel in that period, I believe. But I don't know that I could be wrong. But it's a period of judgment. So only a branch of Israel is going to be saved, and that branch of Israel is going to be the nation. They're going to be saved in one day. But that doesn't mean all the all the seed of um, Israel are going to be saved. It's going to, only going to be the believing seed. Because what happens if, what happens if those um, what if some of those those uh, Jews take the take the mark? Because um, two thirds of the Jewish people are going to be annihilated by the Antichrist, and the Gentile nations are uh, you know gathered round to to trample over to break into the land and ransack it and uh, two thirds are going to get killed so you know they're not going to be saved only a, only a third, only the branch is going to be saved and that will be the nation of Israel that's saved in one day and they're the ones who are going to flee from the Antichrist and run to go to Petra or what, the two places that has been dedicated for them to to run to when the uh, devil tries to uh, destroy um, the nation once it's saved and believed and the Lord's delivered them and 
and, and Israel, the nation of Israel is born in one day and grafted back into their Messiah. And then the devil's going to try and destroy it as soon as it's born. And then they're going to flee to a safe area that, where the Antichrist can't reach it for some reason or doesn't know where it's going, where, where they're going to flee to. And so that, that period is uh, not a very nice period really, it's not something you want to go through because the people who are going to survive it are the people who don't know about it and the, the, the ones who take the guillotine so the majority of people are going to be deceived and take the mark of the one world system, the one world order run, governed by the false prophet and the antichrist and so uh, it's a stuff of nightmares it really is and, and the capability is uh, on the earth at the moment it's a piece that was and that is that w that will be so it's 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 on the earth it's active it's just not it's not um not publicly active and it will be publicly active when the, their man comes and that's the antichrist so i'm going to leave those thoughts and considerations encourage, encourage people to study these things to see if they are so and then you will see the things i said are uh, are factual um, the technology, it, in a sense, that the technology exists, the capability exists, the components, the evil component and body exists to to govern these this apparatus. It's just a matter of when is uh, when will it be? I don't know, but it's coming. So I'm gonna close there and. Uh, Leave those thoughts with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now where's the sidekick? Where's the sycophantic sidekick? Somebody's going to laugh at my jokes. And with, with, with whom am I going to exchange witty repartee?